Hi guys, what's up? This is Cole from Relics of War, and I'm um, just doing a short video on uh, kind of some tips and tricks on how to produce podcasts if you use Mumble now. Um, so, you're looking at Mumble right now. I'm on the Relics of War Mumble, which I've already said a lot of times. I'm also with myself on the phone so that I can record it. Anyway, so, get in whatever Mumble channel you want. We've actually set one up ourselves that only specific people can join with the right uh, privileges. So, if you go into the sound booth here, I can drag this down. Phone moved in from group one by Cole. All right. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit record. And I'm going to record uh, OGG Vorbis. Um, that's, it's like an MP3, but it's open source. I think it's a little better. You're not going to get bloated file sizes. You can go with the WAV file if you feel like bloating a hard drive with unnecessary quality. Set it to multi-channel. That way you will get two audio files, or, or as many audio files as there are users speaking. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Start. Recording started. And now I will say a thing on Mumble. See, that's lit up right there. Okay, I'm done with that. Now I'm holding, now my, I'm push holding my push to talk. And you're picking me up twice. You're just that lucky. And you're picking me up twice. You're just that lucky. All right, so I've done that. Now I'm going to hit Stop. Recording stopped. Now I'm going to go to where I'm saving these files, and I'm saving them to my... I'm on a solid state, so... Mm. Uh, that was just a Twitter notification. And where am I saving this crap to? Saving it to... I do not recall, actually. Projects. It looks of war. Uh, no. It's not being saved there. <laughs> and let's find out. Let's see. Target directory. Oh, it's on my C drive. I gotta fix that. So, I'll just go to my documents, I guess. I've been troubleshooting software today, so I'm being unnecessarily complicated. So I've got these two OGG Vorbis files now. Go ahead and play this. It acts a little funny. I'm holding my push to talk. And you're picking me up twice. You're just that lucky. Okay. Uh, you see it skips around there. The audio file is a little weird outside of an audio editor. So in a, a player like BLC, which is awesome and free, go get it. Um, it's going to... What the piss? Anyway, so it's it's going to like jank around because the silence is funny. That's actually a good thing when it comes to post-production. So. And we've also got this one. And now I will say a thing on Mumble. See, that's lit up right there. Okay, I'm done with that. Actually, my... Phone sounds better than this headset. That's really cool. So, what do you do for editing? Well, uh, depends on the program you have. Uh, obviously, if you have Audacity, that's the way to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and first launch Audition. Something that I do to it. And just open each file. So, I'm going to go to Documents. Open that. And uh, what I've learned to do with this is select the whole thing. I have these presets that I run against it. Uh, what did I call this thing? Podcast voice. Wait, that's a new one. That's that's a preset. Let's see what this does. Got the previewer there. Let's hear it. And now I will say a thing on Mumble. See that's lit up right there. Okay. That sounded like Balsack. Let's try another one. I have one here that I, I applied to Evie on the last episode. It will probably sound better. And now I will say a thing on Mumble. See, that's lit up right there. Okay, I'm done with that. Okay, so... Now I will say a thing. What it's doing is it's tightening up the base, is what it says. It's tightening up the graphics. It's also graphically equalizing. So uh, I just lifted the base there as well, because that sounds pretty good. And there's dynamics processing. This is really nice in um, Audition. Audacity has a plugin you can download to do this. It's called a noise gate by uh, most standards, but anyway, in Audition it's Dynamics Processing. What's nice about this is any sounds that are uh, below a certain level that aren't quite the same as what you hear in the voice, they get filtered out. Boom, just gone. Um, because you're recording from mum Mumble, you probably won't have to do any uh, noise reduction, um, but if that's the case, do your noise reduction first, then do the Dynamics Processing. Okay, so uh, you got that if you want to bring them into Audacity, which I would recommend because I had a crash from Audition last time I did a show, and so I lost a lot of work. So if you're comfortable with Audacity, 
you're not losing out too much um, going into Audacity. So I'm going to import audio. I'm going to go to my documents. Wait, dang it, it's changed on me. You but whatever. I'll go the long way. Wait, I saw it. I seen it. There it is. Just grab both. Boom. Bring them in. They're lined up. Don't worry about it. This was super silent here. Didn't matter. And now I will say a thing on Mumble. See, that's lit up right there. Okay, I'm done with that. Now I'm holding my push to talk. And you're picking me up twice. You're so, um, the, to, the thing to gather from this is uh, there are other things you can do. What I just said made no sense. That's fine. There's also the compressor in Audacity. That thing works really nice. It, it attempts to level out all the speech. What was the hotkey for that? Control R. So you can try that. See how it sounds. I will say a thing on Mumble. See that's lit up right there. Okay, I'm done with that. Now I'm not sure what's going on with that start of that. Let's see what happens when we go back. And uh, yeah, so what's up? Maybe you could apply it to small sections here. Try a compressor again. That's a little better. You can mess around with it, but essentially what it's doing is it's leveling out all the speech so you're not getting loud and quiet and so on and so forth. So you can get messing with that stuff. Uh, little tips for podcasting also, if you want to clip stuff out, hit control I real quick. It'll snap again so you can hit the other uh, track with this. I don't delete these tracks until I feel like I've deleted out um, at least a decent amount of interruptions and talking over each other. I mean, you have the ability to now, so why not? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, delete this. Hello. And uh, another thing you can do yeah, oh, to, to silence stuff, control L, boom, done. So I can see that right there. I don't want that. So I'll just uh, clean that up. Again, use compressor. But that's going to sound like ball sack. Let's have a look. I'm holding my push to talk. And you're picking me up twice. Now the noise gate would be run against this. You wouldn't be having that. And then the skipping in and out, that's because I'm using a phone. And you know, it's, it's giving you a worst case scenario here, and it's not too shabby, honestly. Um, so there's that. Uh, let's uh, think of other tips and tricks you might want to use. Um, for the most part, oh, let's talk about the envelope tool. Let's check this out. If I want to make myself grow quiet, think about this for music. Let's say that there was an audio track right here, and I wanted to silence it out for the music, uh, but not completely get rid of it. That's a very visual and easy way to just uh, take care of that. So now I can rewind. And now I will say a thing on Mumble. See, that's lit up right there. Okay, I'm done with that. Let's see, that's pretty cool. You've got that. When you're going through your podcast and you're reviewing it, uh, this is what I do, actually. I crank this up. And now... And now I will say a thing on Mumble. See, that's lit up right there. Okay, I'm done with that. Now I'm holding my push to talk. And you're picking it up twice. You're just that lucky. So that, that'll help you. You can still tell what's being said, um, and so you can get through the podcast faster to double check it um, and find those little things you might have accidentally missed or something like that. So very nice if you're creating mashups too, Christian. This uh, you know you might think about that. The last thing I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to mix and render. Now everything's in one file, right? Let's make this sound a lot more fluid. Effect and truncate silence. The default will be this. You'll probably like that just fine. You might want to set that to 150. Some people prefer that. I like 200. It feels a little more natural, um, where at 150 it kind of feels a little sped up. Boom. And now I will say a thing on Mumble. See, that's lit up right there. Okay, I'm done with that. Now I'm holding my push to talk, and you're picking me up twice. You're just that lucky. So that'll help really make the podcast feel nice and fluid. So once you've got that done, file save as, you're done. Now when you go to put this thing on iTunes, Another trick for you. Go look up the ID3 Tag Editor program. It's free. You don't have to use iTunes and install that virus on your Windows machine. Instead, with this, you can put in your, you know, you can load up the MP3 file. Once you load that up, you, you'll be able to add images so that you add an image with this, this plus sign right here. You'll add an image that will be the album cover like you would see in one of the Relics of Ore podcasts, for example. You can do the artist, the title, album, genre, all sorts of cool stuff to mess with here. 
Okay. Once you've embedded that, you're going to click on that save button and your MP3 file will now have that embedded data inside. Big bonus right there. Last, let's just have a listen to a show that was developed this way. So I'm going to go into Projects, Relics of War, and uh, the final file is here. Um, alright, are you guys ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, I need to pull one more thing, sorry. You need to pull something? Yeah, that guy who asked me to take a compass in the actual... And, but the things like positional skills good, are, Justin, are going to show it up the most because that needs, like, check-ins with the server of where you sorry, are Justin, and, sorry. you know, when the server checks back in and says where it thinks you... My knowledge... See, that's something you don't get when you're using Skype. Grybox sounded like the host. He sounded like he was recording. Yes. Then you know what I'm saying. Yes. Uh, dungeons, this is the new segment. Zerkers only ping gear, please. No one's arguing about the need for a plan. Your plan's just stupid and won't work. Now I've got the parts to fix this, but we'll have to build the bumper ourselves. What is this? What is this? What is this? Speculator's corner? No, no, no! This is Zerkers only. Ping gear, please. And I think that's a good summation of some tips. And maybe I'll write some more tutorials, or pff, write. I'll record some more tutorials later on down the line. Um, if you have any questions about that, I can make an addendum to this that might be a little bit more organized. But there you go. Thank you, guys, and don't let your grandma bite you. That is not my recording software. There it is.